What's up, everybody out there in Codex land? This is Dan here with another review for the Codex Station. Today, I will be reviewing the five-issue miniseries Scout's Honor that was published by Aftershock Comics between January 2021 and May 2021. It was written by David Papos with art by Luca Casalaglita. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Colors by Matt Mila. Letters by Carlos M. Mango and covers by Andy Clark with Jose Villarubia. Now, this story takes place in the future long after there has been a nuclear apocalypse. And there has been a new society that has started that is based on the Ranger Scout Manual, which is, um, which is this book's version of the Boy Scouts Manual. Um, the story follows the main character, Kit, as she trains to become a ranger scout um, and the ranger scouts are some of the most highly um highly thought of people in this um in this society but as she's training she discovers a secret that's been hidden uh, from everybody that would destroy their entire society if it's revealed and now she has to fight to survive as the people that she trusted try to kill her so that um you know so that they could keep this secret and the people that she thought were her enemies um and the enemies of all the people that are surviving in this future turn out to be the only hope she has to not only survive but to reveal this truth to the world and let them know that they've been lied to for all this time it's got a pretty intriguing premise there's some good action in it. There's some good twists. Um, since this is this um, post-apocalyptic future, you know, you do get to see some of these um, old school B-movie kind of monsters in it, like the giant irradiated ants and, you know, and things like that that they have to fight. Um, each issue, uh, when you bought it, came with a scout patch um, that was... Uh, you know, that was a pretty cool idea, I thought. So, you know, it was something where you could, as you're getting the issues, you could collect the scout patches to go along with them. Um, so, you know, it, it was a nice incentive to get the individual issues. And like I said, that you know, the, the story was pretty engaging. Uh, the artwork, I didn't think was that great. It's, you know, it's okay. It's passable, but you know if there was anything that took was something that took me out of the story it was the art i felt like it's something that could have been a lot better but you know unfortunately that's something that um you know with some of these some of these books that aftershock put out you know i found that the art was not always as as good as it could be they would usually have good stories but the art would you know would be somewhat inconsistent but overall, I would rate this a 7 out of a 10. Still a pretty good story, something that's interesting to read. I think that this would make a very interesting premise for a TV show, um, if they ever wanted to do that. But 7 out of a 10, like I said, you know, a fun read just, you know, would have been a little higher if the artwork had been better. So make sure to check us out online at thecodexstation.com. You can meet the team, get some merch, check us out on all of our socials and see what we have coming up. And until next time, I'll catch you by the spinner rack.